Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on the very first Fortnite Creative beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can create the simplest trigger event ever inside of this amazing Fortnite mode, which is Fortnite Creative that allows you to create your own gaming experiences inside of Fortnite. So I need a couple of things to show you this functionality and all of them are already in my phone, but let's go through them nonetheless. First one is a campfire, which I selected here. The second one is a trigger, which is number two. And the third one, trigger, here you see it. And the last one, or the first one, is my player spawner that will allow me to see everything, test out everything without the need to jump from the sky. So my triggered event includes me placing first and foremost a trigger on the ground here, which I want to program, let's call it that way, to start a campfire. So when the player goes over the trigger, a campfire, which will be, let's say here, will begin burning. I place the campfire, I place the trigger, now let me just connect these two through the E function, which will allow me to open up the trigger. And under the functions, you have your basic options, uh, all options, modified options, functions and events. I will use an event where it says on trigger, send event to, I need to select the device, which is my campfire and I need to select function as you can see there are several of those I will go with light and I go okay and now I should check out the campfire I don't need to do if everything is right anything there just see if the connection is already made here in functions and it is light when receiving from trigger and on triggered okay and the last thing I need is my player spawner. So I can test it out immediately. And I'm going to place it right here. And if everything is well and everything is working properly, I should be able to trigger my fire once I start the level. So let's do that and let's go for play. And here I'm going to test out or test out start game how the same function actually operates. So here it is and I'm in the level and let's see if it works. Here's the trigger and here is the campfire. I can extinguish it through direct interaction and I can then trigger it again from the same trigger once more. So there you have it, the simplest, easiest, most easy to explain actually, system of creating a triggered event in the same mode of Fortnite in Fortnite Creative. Hopefully this helps you in creating your own Fortnite mode or Fortnite Creative experiences. That's it for this video, thanks so much for watching, my name is Ivica, there is a bunch of ways how you can support me, I sell books on Amazon, you can become my Patreon supporter and do a bunch of other stuff, send me money through PayPal and crypto, but the easiest, simplest way to support me is to just subscribe to my channel and be here for my new video, which will come out in a couple days from now. Thanks once again, have a great day and have loads of fun in your Fortnite creative islands. Until next time, bye bye.